the shape of You're definitely this. leaving a trace right now. Hmm? You're definitely leaving a trace right now. Leaving a trace? Oh, yeah. I don't think the, the wildlife will mind too much. But, like, oh. Some human hair. Okay, so we are oh in the Yukon. We crossed over from Alaska into the Yukon today. Um, it was pretty hard, I'm not gonna lie. I just wish we had so much more time in Alaska than we did, but for like the, the you know broad spectrum of the whole trip, this is it's been it's been really fun just kind of stopping through each spot and you know making our way through. Can I talk about something really important? What? So I need to talk to all those people out there that have a phobia of pit toilets. Pit toilets because you think you just look down into that big pit full of sh stuff and then you're like. I could fall through this toilet and I could be lost down there. No one would ever get me out. <laughs> we try to, well, not try to, but okay, we, we have, we have admittedly maybe let Everly know that that was a possibility. And no, Everly has fallen into a toilet, not a pit toilet, not a pit toilet, but a <laughs> gas station toilet. She Ew. was sitting there forever and she pooped so much. And then all of a sudden she's like, and her whole butt is in the toilet and her legs are all out like this. Okay, well, anyway. So, anyway. so hijacker <laughs> of vlog. What I, what I wanted to say is that Alaska was really cool, but we're finding a lot of fun just on this entire journey going there and back. Um, but anyway, I wanted to say it's like 11... 38. 38. And it's still like moderately bright outside, which makes for night driving um, uh, pretty pretty awesome. So we're about 230 kilometers outside of White Horse, and we're going to try to make it there tonight. By the way, I know well, I wouldn't fall yeah. into a pit toilet because my butt is way too big to do that. So I have to remind myself, Ashley, you have a big butt. You're not going to fall into the pit. And still, I'm afraid. Yeah. Well, then. <laughs> We pulled over for the night next to this uh, beautiful little river and we drove quite a ways we're trying to book it to Jasper National Park which last time as I was driving in like through the Yukon and stuff I realized like man our next drive is gnarly like really gnarly if you just look on a map I don't even need to look on a map we're going from Fairbanks to Oklahoma City in exactly seven days. It's insanity. That's what it is. It's insanity. And it ended up kind of just working out that way because my parents are going to watch Everly while uh, Ash and I go on like an eight day long work thing. And so we needed, we needed to get her there for that. But anyway, you guys will see kind of what unfolds. Regardless, this is going to be an insane amount of driving. But that's cool. I'm glad we came. It's all part of the journey. Um, it's just a pretty cool experience regardless of how much driving it is. So, can't complain. <laughs> Sign post forest. That's where we are. Your mouth full, boy.
Okay, well, um, we're in British Columbia, driving through the middle of nowhere, for what seems like it. We've seen another bear recently, which was great, but... And a bison. And a bison. Yeah, we did see a bison. It was huge and beautiful. But I want to circle back around on this whole roads thing, because we've gotten a lot... Um, or a few people on Instagram asking about how the roads are and whatnot. Honestly, as we came up through British Columbia, we thought the roads were really great, even on Highway 37 um, coming up north. Like, you know, there, there were patches here and there where they'll have little flags and you can see plenty ahead of time that there's gonna be some sort of bump in the road or whatever. But even those, uh, those little sections weren't really that bad for the most part. It was really until Yukon that there were a few stretches, I think one construction zone that was like maybe five or six kilometers long, that was, it was pretty gnarly, you know, that we had to go 50 kilometers or something, because it was, uh, it was pretty rough. But that was just like one, one little stretch. And then they have, you know, a lot of the, like I said, a lot of the little cutouts that are, you know, that have a flag and that warn us ahead of time that there's going to be a bump. But when we got to Alaska, it was pretty gnarly. Uh, pretty, just pretty dang gnarly. Um, the earthquake, that was the cause for a lot of, I think that was in the 70s. Uh-oh, what is that? What is this? That is not a person. Are you kidding me? A person would be insulted that you even said that. Um, Is there bison, horses? Bison. Like bison. Bison. Stay down, buddy. There they are. Dude, they're just so big. Their heads are just crazy. They have no care about us whatsoever. Unless I get out of the van. Which is cool. I mean, and that's... then they would probably charge me. So that's why I like to... Watch wildlife from the safety of the driver's seat. Or passenger seat, whichever one I happen to be on. My little tails whipping around, whacking all those mosquitoes, sending them flying for the little birdies to eat for lunch. Yeah, today we've already had three bison now and two bear. And I saw a bear driving through the night last night. And I saw, yesterday. yeah, I saw a bunch of elk last night, which thankfully, because it stays so bright at night. I drove all through the night until six this morning and I could see like pretty well, pretty much the whole time. So yeah, um, but anyway, so just touching up on the roads in Alaska was, was bad at times, um, but then good, then really good uh, at times as well. So just kind of wow. more dynamic, I guess. It had the worst and the best. So. It was the best of roads, it was the worst of roads. All right, anyway, so we're trying to make our way to Dawson's Creek, which is like... Dawson Creek. Dawson Creek. Dawson's Creek. Dawson's Creek. Completely really... related to the show and everything. Yeah. Uh, I, and that's like 900 kilometers, so... Yeah, 900 kilometers, here we go. What on earth are you doing? Everly likes to make me do this when we go down hills when we're on road trips together. It's not safe to me. I'm always the party pooper, I guess. Today we are in Yoho National Park in Canada. 
Um, last night we made it, dude, we've been booking it the last couple days, by the way, booking it, trying to get, trying to get down here. Um, and last night we made it as far as Jasper and I was just too tired and we were, it was snowing a little bit and I was like, okay, I'm going to crash. Um, but yeah, so today we've pretty much just spent, uh, we went through, we were going to go to Lake Louise and it was insanely busy i'm sure it will be tomorrow too but we're gonna do it tomorrow we're gonna try to get a bit bigger jump on it yeah so we found a campground in in yoho i think monarchs monarch campgrounds just off highway one it's kind of been a chill day because we got here paid for a spot and then a park ranger came over and was like hey just to let you guys know there's a mom and her two cubs uh just in the hills like behind me pretty much and was like hey you know just in the hills there's some uh, a mom and her two cups, which made me you know, obviously put me a little on edge. So he's like, make sure your dog's on on a leash, and then you are, you know are keeping your kid in in eyesight. So it kind of made us all nervous. And so then, sure enough, maybe an hour later, the campground host comes by and says, "Oh yeah, I heard some wrestling in the trees up there when I was walking over, and I just want to make sure you guys know that this is bear country and that you know." <laughs> So I'm just like, man, it's kind of killed a little bit of the fun for today. Because I was going to go hike that right through there, which goes up, 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 I assume. Um, and now I'm not as excited about it. Uh, I do have bear spray in my back pocket, but it's just one of those like, man, I think I would rather live, especially because black bears, dude, they will eat you alive. Um, they're not like, oh, I'll, you know, you don't, you can't play dead and then wait for later. Like they'll just, they'll get you right then and there. Man, hiked up a little ways just from our campsite, but it's pretty straight up as i bet you can see the dude the, the view is pretty cool payoff it's uh man i don't know if you can tell the turquoise river back there i'm not sure what it is or what the name of the river is but i love that glacier fed river man that is so gorgeous so gorgeous Whoop. Yeah, pretty gnarly little mountain here. Um, but hey, no bears so far, so yeah. Good morning. There are very few reasons why we would be up at 4.23 in the morning. But trying to get to Lake Moraine is on that list of reasons. So here we are. You know, people said, <laughs> people said, Ashley, the road will close by like 8 a.m., 7 a.m. Yesterday we get there and it was like 9.30. Definitely too late. The road was already closed because the parking lot gets full. And so I was like, I'm not messing around today. I woke up at 4 a.m. and I was like, nope, I'm going to get there. I'm going to get to Lake Marine. I'm going to get my picture. That's, that's the case. So, here we are, and here we go. <laughs> Driving on the road. Well, we're on the road to Moraine Lake. No yeah. one was here blocking it off or <laughs> keeping us away from it, so. Why would they at 4.44 in the morning? I mean, honestly, because they're crazy people, like Ashley. And you know what? There are people, <laughs> I realized, I will wake up early. I will wake up early for, I found the common denominator. It is when people are going to be there first. I will be there first. So that is like caffeine to my soul. So a jolt to my chest, like Pulp Fiction style. Yep. Here we are, man. We're doing it. We're doing the thing. I think it's like 10 kilometers. So here we go. Moraine Lake. Woo! 
5.39 in the morning and it's already pretty bright. Pretty nice out, eh? Hey, we're not the first ones. Not by any means. Hey Bowie, what do you think of the lake? You gonna tell mom? I like it. <laughs> she, in my ear, she just whispered, "This lake is beautiful." Yeah, I said I like it. Well, before that, you said this lake is beautiful, and it is. I mean, goodness gracious, <laughs> the tranquility of it is. Whew, man, it's just beyond me. It's out there. Even if there's a little fog, you're fog right. Fog makes it pretty. So there you have it, dude. Moraine Lake. It's uh, it's what it's cracked up to be. Um, beautiful, turquoise, tranquil, nice and uh, relaxing morning to start. So here we go. We're gonna keep going off to Lake Louise. So beautiful. We've never seen a rest eagle before. It's now 6:11 a.m. We are leaving Lake Moraine and heading to Lake Louise. I'm really excited to see what the traffic is like over there and how many people we're going to beat. Would you look at that? That's beauty. Oh my gosh. That's beauty. I don't feel like cameras really do all this justice. Go to Lake Louise, parking to the left. Looks like we beat the crowds today. Yesterday was it. So besides this RV, like right behind us, there's like no one here. Look at the trail. This is Lake Louise we're talking about, people. I can see Lake Louise Lake back Louise. there. Hey, Lake Louise. Everyone that's always said something about it normally says it's so busy. There's so many people. You have to get there so early. It's now 627. We're here. Let's do it. <laughs> Don't get the trash, Mom. Nobody here. There's no one here. Who's that? Who's at our lake? Who's at our lake? Just go do it. Just do it. Do it, kiddo. Do it. That's why they're hiking. There's probably like 10 people here. It's so beautiful and so peaceful and is exactly what you want when you come to a beautiful national park. So get here early. Back of the van. That was awesome. It was awesome. It was cold, it but was really so awesome. Chilly. Um, it was well worth the payoff of waking up early. Um, I kind of thought Ashley was a little bit crazy, but <laughs> dude, yesterday when we got here, what it was? It was insanely packed. We got what, here what time at 9:30, 10. Yeah, okay, 9:30 or 10. Insanely packed. Buses coming around. Tons um, of buses with like hundreds of people in them. The overflow parking almost full. 
sucked. I mean, it was... Lake Moraine, you couldn't get up to at all. Yeah, Lake Moraine, they had closed off. If you're thinking about it, just do it. Just get up early. early. Like, seriously, 5, it's worth 530. It. It's, it's freaking worth it. And then we got to go from there to here. And we yeah, got here at, like, we, 630. Yeah, here being Lake Louise, right. Lake uh, Louise. Yeah, it was like, yeah, 6.15 or 6.30 or so. And there's, there's no, still no one here. There's probably like 10 people out there. And yeah. so, so anyway, that, maybe. Actually, there was a time when there was just us and, and an older couple. And that yeah. was it. And I was like, this is really incredible. So you just got to so. sit there and enjoy it for a second without a bunch of people around. And dude, it feels nice. That's that's the way to do it. Yeah. So. Anyway. Words of advice. Yeah. Good morning! We made it back to America. Yes, we did. Late last night. Yeah, I drove through the night, um, landed in Great Falls, uh, what is it, Montana. Montana. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, yeah, man, that was it. That was that was Canada and Alaska. Well, I guess we did it all in like 22 days. 22 days? 21 yeah. days. Um, so, including the, the drive, obviously. A short amount of time for driving and everything, but it was it was really great. I think we we both really ex, um, experienced most of the things we wanted to experience and mm -hmm. and got a pretty good feel of Canada and Alaska and what it's like to drive the Alaskan Highway. And yeah. <laughs> Man, my heart feels so just thankful and fulfilled for this trip. It really does. I mean, I've been wanting to do this since I was since I was a kid, so it's a big bucket list checked off. Yep. So what's next? I don't know. We're going to travel for work for a little while, and we're going to get back to Oklahoma and pick up our camper. Yeah, and we're going to get a little camper, and we're going to convert it. So that's the next big thing on the list. So. Yep, so stay tuned <laughs> um, for future videos. We're going to actually go into our conversion on renovation our 60, yeah re, yeah re, 69 xl renovation um so we'd love to see you over there but if you find yourself watching this video thank you very much we really appreciate it all the love and light to you guys